Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be trying out three of my favorite competition drift tracks in Assetto Corsa. Now, Assetto Corsa obviously being the simulator is, there's many competition drift tracks, especially with Virtual Drift Championship, Drift Corner Grand Prix, Electronic Drift Championship. There's so many different drift championships now in the AC. There's a lot of different competition track layouts to choose from. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the three, three of my favorites. As always, we're going to be doing the runs today in the Proto Academy S15 uh, that you might see in Virtual Drift Championship and you might see it in some other uh, championships as well down the line virtually. But uh, yeah, this car is a lot of fun, 1000 horsepower, VR38, uh, massive amount of steering angle, super fast drift car, uh, definitely my favorite drift car on the Cedro Corsa. So what track do we have first? So the first track that I've picked is Mondello Park 2019. Uh, drift, ga uh, drift Games, Drift Masters slash Drift Corner Grand Prix layout. Uh, I've driven here before. I've crashed here before. Yeah, I know you guys have probably seen that clip millions of times before already on this channel. Uh, but I, I need to get, you know, after that crash, I need to get as many views as I possibly can, right? It makes perfect sense. Okay. So yeah, this track uh, obviously is close to home. I haven't been here in over a year because of the whole, this whole pandemic thing we've been happening on. Um, but this track is a lot of fun, actually. The entry is super rewarding. I really enjoy it. The first wall is dangerous. Trust me, I know how that feels like. Um, and the rest of it is just super rewarding. And um, I personally don't think this is the best drift layout for Mandela Park. I do think there is better variants on Mandela Park. But in a set of Corsa, this is definitely the best one. So here we go, We're leaving the start line. Second, third, flick, entry. Oh, tap the wall. Oh, that tapping the wall really messes up for the second wall. Gonna transition across here, don't shift the second. Gonna miss this clipping point, but get into this one. That's the secret to this track. Get out towards the zone here. Up shift the second, up the third again. Miss this clipping point, get in for this one. So you skip uh, the clipping points on the inside there. Kind of confusing to be honest. Out towards the wall again. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> All right, sitting at the start line once again. Let's give it another shot. So, leaving the start line. First, second, third. Clutch kick, flick, entry. Whoa, that's fast. Up towards the wall, yes, with the left foot. Transition in the middle of the track. Missed the inner clipping point here, but get this one. This is the most important one. Out towards the barrel here on the left. Nice, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Gonna upshift the second mid, mid corner. I think I dropped the wheel there. And we'll drop a wheel here again up the third. Miss that clip. Get into this one. That's the important one. Transition. Or towards the wall. Don't hit it this time. Yes, there's a run. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's uh, Modelo Park. Super tricky layout, actually. This one requires a lot of attention, especially on the walls. Uh, yeah, if you're not on the wall at the start, uh, it messes you up for the rest of the run and I think people kind of underestimate this track load and it's difficulty because of that. So next track on my list of favorites is Płask Stadium based in Poland. Uh, some people kind of confuse the name as Plak but it's Płask I'm pretty sure is how you pronounce it. I know my Polish very good. Uh, Shimmer. Um, so yeah this is a really interesting though it's based on a football field now this track layout is no more they are actually currently in real life tearing it all down i think rebuilding the football stadium with super super interesting track layout uh drift masters has obviously held here for many many years um for their european events and their personal or their grand prix events back in the day but this track layout is super confusing um because there's so many transitions so i feel like i'm going to give you a, guys a quick run through of what to expect we're currently on the electronic drift championship version which is not 100 percent correct Correct, but it's pretty close so after running the first outside wall there we have to transition in the middle of the track out towards these yellow cones here to this outer zone you want to leave this zone middle of the track forget about this one on the inside but get this one that's the important most important one you hit the first outer zone here you leave the outside of the wall forget about that second outer one transition into the roundabout or as I used to call it as a kid a one about go around the roundabout second gear transition Get up and close and personal with the wall here. Leave the wall early, middle of the track. Forget about this inner clip. Then get this outer one here. Then transition out towards the wall. There isn't really a zone here, I don't believe. I think this is just a line that they asked for. And then transition out towards the wall again, all the way to the outside. 
be careful not to clip your back bumper off the tire wall there and across the line. Super fun track though, really, really enjoyed this one. You guys might have seen this one on the channel already as part of a quick onboard that I did. And uh, that's what, that's, that, that's the video that kind of inspired uh, to make this video. So um, yeah, I think we should give it a run, shall we? It's, I'm kind of trying to, trying to see, can we do this in one go? So let's give that a shot, so ready? Let's go, right, okay, so leaving the start line, right, we're gonna cruise this first corner here in first gear. We're gonna hit the acceleration line. We're gonna flick or towards the wall. Oh, we tapped. Okay, let's try again. Can we do this in one go? Denied. I'll be honest with you guys. This is like my fifth attempt. I haven't even passed the first corner yet. This track is super tough. Uh, I enjoy it a lot, but uh, it's super tough. So let's try and do this again. Drive the first corner, accelerate hard, hit the second. Massive flick. Yes, aggressive. Keep it flat in second gear. Well, for this particular car anyway, or towards the wall, be careful of tapping it. Transition down the back straight, into the other zone. Stay middle of the track here, get into the inner clip here. Transition out to the other clip, middle of the track. Transition to, into the one about or roundabout. I'm gonna leave the roundabout here again in the middle of the track, get close to the wall here as we flick across into the other clip. Oh, tapped it. Not the greatest of, of uh, flicks there. Into the other zone again. And run the wall oh another little tap not the greatest of runs here i'll be honest transition into the other zone oh we're dead Finally! Woo! So yeah, that's a uh, Puask Stadium. Took me a while to get that. Uh, yeah, I had to stop talking to get it. So I'll do a voiceover, don't you guys worry. But uh, yeah, Puask, fantastic track layout. Uh, absolutely love it. Wish I could drive it in real life. Unfortunately, I can't. Not anymore anyway. And um, yeah, fun little layout. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. Just, it's super difficult because, you know, you, you nail the whole track layout and you get to the very end and you make a tiny mistake and you're dead. So, uh, yeah, probably definitely one of my favorite layouts, but definitely the most frustrating of ones. So for our final track layout, we are on Okayama, the virtual drift, virtual drift version. Uh, yeah, the fun layout, this is um, super quick, super snappy, and uh, has a nice few walls on it too, which is always a bonus. Uh, this track layout, based off the real Formula E version, and um, yeah, I quite enjoy it. I think. It's definitely one of the more underrated layouts. It's probably one of the easiest to drift, but to nail it is super rewarding and super difficult. And uh, I think people kind of, you know, kind of forget about this one. And uh, to be honest, I, had a different, I have a couple of different choices for this final track layout, I think, and I probably should have had a top five instead of a top three. But anyway, this is the one that I picked and it's a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to driving. Let's go. So leaving the start line through the chicane, second, third, flick. Super long initiation, get to the inner clip, out towards the wall, put the wheel on the curb, out towards the outer clip here, transition back across on the handbrake a tiny bit just to settle the car, then out towards the wall with the left brake, then through to the inner clip, stay tight, transition quickly, and across the line. Yes, that was a good one, that was a good one. Not the, didn't start off the greatest, so I think we'll do another one, but yeah, super fun layout, I really do enjoy it. Uh, something about it, I think it's, I think it's like the speed that you carry and the commitment that you can like attack at the corners is super, super fun. Uh, and for tandem, it's like, I don't know, it's just the timing of it is super important. So if once you nail it, it just feels amazing. So I'll shoot the chicane again. Second, third, flick. Oh, dart dropping. The left foot brake to stabilize the car out towards the wall. Put the wheel on the curb. Once you hear the noise, leave the wall. Straight across the track to the other clip, power 
bit of hammer uh, stabilization. Lift for break again out towards the wall. It's the inner clip. Stay tight. Transition. Probably cutting that one a bit much, but across the line, yes. Wow, oh, what a layout. So much fun. I could drive that like for hours on end. Super, super enjoyable. Probably one of the easier layouts of the tree that I picked uh, for sure. But I definitely think uh, once yeah, once you have an awesome chase run, it's like one of the most rewarding ones. Uh, finding speed on this track is super difficult because it is super easy uh, in a sense compared to other layouts. But it's definitely up there in terms of difficulty, especially when you have to like time or transition and stuff properly in the chase position. Of course, I could have picked many other track layouts for this, you know, favorite one. So maybe I might check up on this in a couple of months time. Or maybe you guys have a few track layouts that you guys want to put on in the comment section below that you want me to try. And for sure, maybe I'll do it in a future video. But for today, guys, that is going to end it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Cheers and goodbye.